Hi friends, in this video we will briefly discuss about differential thermal analysis that is DTA. So, this kind of instrument DuPont DTA apparatus or thermocouple. So, it is employed for both low and high temperature. So, parameter measured change in temperature that is delta T. So, you can curve change in temperature versus time. So, principle for differential thermal analysis polymorphic material can be measured that is DTA measure the difference in temperature that is delta T here heat evolved or absorbed between a sample and inert reference material as a function of temperature or time. So, in the peak of the upper direction is the exothermic peak downward direction is the endothermic peak This is the endothermic peak of the sharp peak the change in crystallinity or fusion That is the broad endothermic peak that means dehydration so physical change in sonna endothermic no chemical change change portholiyo adu exothermic nama classify pannuvom so idukana reference material alpha alumina because it is thermally stable up to 2000 degrees celsius so sample holder portholiyo both metallic that is nickel platinum or steel nama use pannuvom Platinum is the best one and non-metallic like glass, sintered crucible, alumina or silica like that. So, recorder in DT apparatus is a galvanometer. So, sample quantity for 0.1 to 10 milligram. So, DT apparatus is a furnace for is a tubular furnace. This kind of formula P must be equal to 2.72 km into T1 minus T2 into L by log D2 by D1, where L is a length, km is average thermal conductivity coefficient, D1 is a diameter of the heater coil. D2 is the diameter of the furnace shell. So, now we discuss about one example that is calcium oxalate monohydrate. So, in the compound economy, different condition that is carbon dioxide atmosphere, air atmosphere, nitrate atmosphere, different conditions, delta T time ku nama graph potu adu nama discuss panna porom so first one is in carbon dioxide atmosphere gives three endothermic transition peak that means in first step portholiyum calcium oxalate monohydrate heat pannum bodu we get calcium oxalate with loss of water molecule in second step the calcium oxalate further on heating we get calcium carbonate with loss of carbon monoxide in third step calcium carbonate on heating with high temperature with loss of carbon dioxide molecule we get calcium oxide one is a water molecule carbon monoxide Third step la CO2 well okay, la is even but in, a, in carbon dioxide atmosphere. La. Other way, in the presence of air in the condition, la, we get 
two endothermic and one exothermic peak because in second step la igne paathadha co form agum and the co oda further oxygen combined aayitu we get carbon dioxide appo it is a exothermic product appo second step thuliyum exo product first step um second step um sorry third step um endo product kadikum therefore we get two endothermic and one exothermic peak in air atmosphere other way in nitrogen atmosphere la we get three exothermic peaks so different <coughs> theories have been proposed in differential thermal analysis one is borsma theory அதுக்கான ஃபார்முலா மட்டும் நான் போச்சுங்க ஃபார்முலா வித் எக்ஸ்ப்ளனேஷன் ஓகேங்களா ஸோ இன்டர்கல் டி ஒன் டு டி டூ டெல்டா டி இன்டு டிடி ஈக்குவல் டு கியூ ஏ ஸ்கொயர் பை சிக்ஸ் இன்டு டூ பை லேம்டா சி ப்ளஸ் ஒன் பை லேம்டா எஸ் வேர் லேம்டா சி இஸ் த தெர்மல் கண்டக்டிவிட்டி ஆஃப் தி செராமிக் மெட்டீரியல் லேம்டா எஸ் இஸ் thermal conductivity of the sample a is the radius of the hole and q is the heat trans- transformation and second theory both chart and daniel theory so 1 by a integral 0 to infinity delta t into dt equal to delta q here a is the constant that is k by cp into d adu kana value so where d is the density and k is the thermal conductivity and third theory for dta kerr and kulp adu kodutha oru theory integral a to c delta t into dt equal to m in delta h by gk where m is the mass of the sample delta h is enthalpy change a and c is a integration limit and g is the constant fourth theory for dta for dta lucas zweski so cs into pi s dou t by dt into s equal to division that is div ks and dou t by dt into s equal to ds del square t into plus or minus as into p comma t by cs then finally applications in dta instrument were used in all branches that is physical chemistry analytical chemistry inorganic chemistry organic chemistry etc in analytical chemistry identification of clay and identification of product melting point and quantitative analysis whereas in the inorganic chemistry dt dta are used in thermal stability in the field of organic chemistry to identify the purity of the sample evaluation of kinetic parameters evaluation of explosive evaluation of pharmaceuticals and evaluation of fat and oils so these are the some informations about differential thermal analysis dear friends thodandu enoda video va paarunga video pidichirundha like pannunga comment pannunga ungal friends ku share pannunga thank you friends